Hey guys, good morning and welcome back again to your Unacademy Need English channel. I hope all of you are doing amazing, all of you are doing great. My dear students, in this particular sub in this particular session, I am going to talk about my subject that is chemistry. How can you improvise your scores when it comes to the subject chemistry? Because you know, chemistry being your second most scoring subject after your biology. If you are scoring more than 150 in chemistry, that means your selection is guaranteed when it comes to your NEET examination. So what all things you have to keep in the mind in these last 40-50 uh, days when it comes to the subject chemistry, th all those things I'm going to discuss in the today's session. And this particular session is particularly for all the NEET 2024 aspirants, right? Before giving you the strategy ahead, before letting you know what to do and what not to do, I hope all of you are aware about the Unacademy Learning Festival, right? Unacademy Learning Festival, my dear students, is starting from today, right? And this learning festival is going to be there for complete seven days. So what all things you are getting in this Unacademy Learning Festival, all the things which I've mentioned over here on the screen, all these things you are getting absolutely free of cost, right? Whatever batches are happening on Unacademy platform, right? You can watch all the batches. I'm pretty much sure there will be a lot of students among you uh, who are not done with the preparation yet, who have completed a certain percentage of the syllabus, right? There will be some percentage of the syllabus which will be left perfect. You can complete the left out chapters of physics, chemistry, biology from the internal batches of an academy. For that, there is one link which is there in the description box of the video. I'm going to pin that link in the comment section of this video as well. You just have to click on that link automatically you'll get enrolled. You can see all the things happening on an academy platform. Point number one. Point number two. My dear students, you can have the access to the chapter-wise, chapter-wise notes. Definitely whatever batches are running in the an academy platform after every chapter is done, there are chapter-wise notes provided by the educators. You can download all those notes as well of your physics, chemistry, as well as, as, well as biology from the teacher of your choice, right? Access to test series. There are a lot of test series which are going on in the platform, you, you are going to have the free access to those tests for complete seven days, right? Access to chapter wise PYQs. Lot of students, they do not get chapter wise PYQs at one place, right? On an academy platform, ideas students, you are going to get free chapter wise uh, PYQs, which you can download also, right? Then the chapter wise mock tests, which students do not get mostly on Google, etc, etc. So, uh, once you click on the link, which is there in the description box, you just have to put your number on which you get the OTP, right? And eventually you can have the access to the chapter wise mock test as well. You can even download them, right? Link is there in the description. Use the code Vaseem10 by means of which you get the access of all these things absolutely free of cost. So whatever things you want to download from an academy platform, you can do that. And only first 5,000 students can, I mean, get access of the unacademy platform completely free of cost perfect so do that as soon as possible right after watching this particular video going to the strategy ahead my dear students since i told you chemistry being your second most scoring subject when it comes to the neat examination i'm pretty much sure majority of you guys at this particular point of time will be scoring less than 120 marks when it comes to the chemistry mock test so what all things we have to keep in the mind what are the important chapters which we have to focus on right? How we have to strategize these upcoming 45 to 50 days. My dear students, if I talk about the physical chemistry, which being my favorite among all the three, right? In physical chemistry, what I would suggest to you guys, see, if you are scoring less than 120, there is no need to consult NCRT when it comes to theory, right? If you are scoring less than 120, it can be 80, it can be 90, it can be 100, right? There is no need to, my dear students, consult NCRT when it comes to theory, right? Particularly for physical chemistry. So for theory, what do you have to do? My dear students, I'm pretty much sure you would have made a notebook, right? It is better to revise all the things from your own notebook. Perfect. Solve the same questions again. Whatever your teacher has solved in the class, right? Solve the same questions again. But right now you are going to solve them without seeing the solution. Perfect. Now, once you are done with the revision of a particular chapter, right? From your notebook. After that, I would suggest you guys to do NCRT in-text questions when it comes to physical chemistry. There are two types of questions in NCRT. 
One is NCRT exercise, one are in-text questions. So all those students who are scoring less than 120, do not jump directly into the NCRT exercise questions. It is better to solve the NCRT in-text questions first. Once you are done with the notebook revision. Once you are done solving all the questions, again, which your teacher has solved already during the session. Perfect. After the NCRT in-text questions, you can do chapter-wise PYQs, which you can get on an academy platform. You can download that right now. Okay. Once you are done with the chapter-wise PYQs, then it is going to be the time for NCRT exercise questions. Because in the exercise questions, there'll be some difficult questions as well. And I want you guys to solve those difficult questions at the end, not in between. Perfect. And at the end, at the end, how you are going to complete your physical chemistry? By writing the chapter-wise mock test. So these things have to be kept in mind when you, when you prepare for, I mean, when you are preparing any chapter of your physical chemistry. And my dear students, having a proper sequence is phys in physical chemistry is really important, right? See, if you are not starting from mole concept, if you are directly going to thermodynamics, if you are directly going to equilibrium, there'll be problem in understanding things right so it's better to follow the proper sequence for example first do the mole concept once you're done with the mole concept then go for redox reactions right once you're done with the redox reactions then you can go for your electrochemistry perfect right it makes the i mean it makes sense perfect because in electrochemistry a lot of concepts of redox are used in redox a lot of concepts of your mole concept are used so follow a proper sequence guys proper sequence that plays a an important role here uh, when you Prepare for the physical chemistry. Point number one. When it comes to your inorganic, what all things you have to do? My dear students, inorganic, since there are some uh, four or five chapters which are left as per the new syllabus of your NEET 2024, when it comes to the inorganic chemistry is concerned, right? When it comes to inorganic chemistry. In inorganic chemistry, it is pretty much simple. Your class notes are enough, right? Once you are done doing the class notes, then you can go for NCRT reading. NCRT reading, reading is important here. Because lately, if you see the JE mains 2024 papers, a lot of questions from the inorganic part were asked from the tables which are given in the NCRT, right? So NCRT reading is must here, right? And once you are done with NCRT reading, then you can consult PYQs, right? And at the end, you can go for the NCRT exercise questions plus the chapter-wise mock test. This is the sequence which you have to follow when it comes to your inorganic chemistry, my dear students, right? Now, when it comes to your organic, in organic, do not directly jump into NCRT. Do not do that. First of all, first of all, my dear students, prioritize your general organic chemistry. You need to prioritize your GOC because if your GOC is strong, then only your organic chemistry is going to be strong. If your GOC is weak, your organic chemistry can never become strong, right? Keep this particular thing in mind. In GOC, solve as many questions as possible. Whatever DPPs you have, right? Whatever study material you have. Try to solve a lot of questions when it comes to your GOC because trust me, if your GOC is getting clear, is getting proper, you'll have a proper hold on your organic chemistry, right? And my dear students, I would suggest, which I have seen a lot of students doing who qualified this particular examination, they had make, they had made separate sheets for the naming reactions. There are a lot of naming reactions in your organic chemistry. Make a separate sheet for them, those naming reactions and try to read them every day for at least 15 to 20 minutes that's how you are going to remember them otherwise there's no way you can remember all the naming reactions like what are the reactants products reagents right what are used in the naming reactions and please and please whatever naming reactions are given you in ncrt only go for those naming reactions in your other reference books there are irrelevant naming reactions given you need not to consult them at all so whatever NCRT has given when it comes to the naming reactions, just do those naming reactions, write them on a particular sheet, keep on revising them every day for at least 15 to 20 minutes, right? Similarly, you can group a particular set of reactions together. It's not necessary to do the organic chapter wise, like first GOC, then hydrocarbons, then haloalkanes, arenes. It's not really important to do that. How I recommend you guys to do the organic? See, you have a particular SN1 type reactions, right? Do them together. Perfect. Do them together. You have, for example, even reactions, do them together. No matter whatever chapter the reaction belongs to. Perfect. Similarly, you have got the other types of the reactions, do them together. So you have to group a particular type of the reactions together. Perfect. That, that's, how, uh, that's how your organic comparatively becomes easy. Otherwise, you keep on forgetting all the things. I mean, when you go for the organic chapter wise, right? And at the same time, what are the most important chapters of your organic, which we call as the high weighted chapters? 
विच यू शुड डू ऑन प्रायोरिटी राइट विच यू शुड फोकस मोर ऑन राइट फ्रॉम विच मेजोरिटी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आर गोइंग टू कम दैट इज योर केमिकल बॉन्डिंग योर जनरल ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इक्विलिब्रियम विच इन्वॉल्व केमिकल आयोनिक बोथ देन यू हर गॉट हाइड्रोकार्बन यू हर गॉट थर्मो डायनेमिक्स रेडॉक्स इलेक्ट्रो आई कंसिडर इट एज अ सिंगल चैप्टर एल डी हाइड स्कीटोन्स एंड कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड्स केमिकल कैनेटिक्स सोल्यूशन अमीन्स बायोमोलिक्यूल्स एंड कॉर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री दीज आर योर हाई बेटे चैप्टर्स फ्रॉम विच मिनिमम टू टू थ्री क्वेश्चन इन एवरी चैप्टर फॉर श्योर यू गाइज आर गोइंग टू गेट सो इफ यू थिंक ऑफ लिविंग एनी चैप्टर इन केमिस्ट्री प्लीज एंड प्लीज राइट डू नॉट Do not leave any chapter out of the chapters which I have mentioned on the screen. Perfect. I believe, I believe, my dear students, whatever I have told you in this particular session, you are going to follow that strictly, right? That's how you can master organic chemistry. That's how you can score, shoot up your ranks. You you can score more than one fifty, more than one sixty when it comes to your chemistry. And scoring more than one sixty in chemistry, that is not a difficult job, guys. It's not your physics. It's chemistry at the end, right? And at the same time. If you want to cover these chapters from now on, right? You have not covered any of these chapters. Again, there is a link. I told you that that is in the description box. Click on that link. You can get access to my classes. Who server teaches in the internally, internally in the An Academy platform, right? You can have the access of all the educators. Whosoever you like the most, you can complete that particular chapter from that particular teacher in the An Academy platform. That's why I told you, right? Joining. into the unacademy learning festival right now is very important because you get every single thing at one place so try to download all the things possible what you need at this particular point of time so it was nice catching up you with you i hope you liked all the things what i said and i hope I, and i believe you are strictly going to follow all these things perfect and at the end on youtube on this particular channel we have started a series in which one day one chapter we do right one day by one chapter we complete and every day we keep the session at 7 pm right it's going to be a one shot session basically every chapter is done in 3 to 4 hours you can check out this particular series as well every day one teacher comes on the channel and teaches one particular chapter in 3 to 4 hours in detail with all the problem patterns with the extra problems as well perfect so you can join our youtube series as well so everything is basically on your plate now it's going to be your job right the ball is in your court how you going to play with this ball at this particular point of time it complete it completely depends upon you and i would want you guys to mobilize these 45 days in a proper direction right with this i'm going to take a leave god bless you all take care and love you all guys bye bye